All right. So like I was saying, let's uh, explore the tools a little bit. But just before we jump into that, something I left off on the uh, header video that I want to kind of touch base on, I think it's a nice little feature, is the uh, at the end of the header here, you see the tab that says Untitled. It's a project tab. And what Ableton, or I'm sorry, what uh, Bitwig's offering us to do is to have more than one project open at a time. So we can toggle between any projects that we have open with different audio sources or different material and kind of use those in conjunction. However, it is important to know that whatever project you're working on, for instance, we have this one open right now. If you go over here to the right, the audio engine is on and functioning. But watch when we click the other project tab. It's off. So you can only have one audio source performing at a time. They're both available to you. All you have to do is toggle between. Now if I toggle this guy on now, it's on and it's off on this guy. So that's kind of the only catch-22 there, but it makes sense, you know, that, that you can't have audio streams going multiple places. So let's get rid of this guy and back to the tools. Okay, so we've got here, we've got our object selection tool. And, of course, with that, we can um, double-click. We can select a section of audio, a clip, move it around, up and down, whatever we got to do. And when we hover away from a clip, it becomes a crosshair. And if we go above the clip, it becomes our magnifying glass and allows us to zoom in and out. So if I go down with my mouse, I'm zooming in. I'm sorry, I'm zooming out. And if I go up, we're zooming in. That's kind of the process of that guy right there. So out and in, up and down. Next on our toolbar, we've got our time selection tool. Now this doesn't really allow me to move objects in any way. What this is going to do is allow us to grab a specific spot of time, an element of time within our project. And we can choose to delete or keep whatever our preferences are there. Let me command Z that, get that guy back for us. And let's, uh, let's open up a couple different clips here. The time selection tool can actually, what's really nice about it is you can actually select time across multiple clips. So if there's a region within your project that you want to delete or work on or, you know, manipulate in some way, you can do, a, do it all at once on the time selection tool. You can highlight these guys, move them around, do whatever you need to do. It's a really, really nice tool. That's the time selection tool. All right, moving on, we've got a pencil tool. Pretty self-explanatory. It's going to allow us to draw in clips anywhere we need, drag large, small, whatever sizes we need, put them wherever we need them. Can chop up segments over here. The pencil tool, or I guess I'm sorry, the pen tool. I just, in my own mind, over the last few months, have been calling it a pencil. So, then next we've got our eraser. Let me get rid of this little mess here. We've got our eraser. Now this guy's a little tricky to get used to. Let me. For, for instance, right here, like, if you go over this and then let go of the mouse, that's the section that's gone. It's kind of, you know, it takes a little practice. It can feel almost, I don't know, alien to me sometimes. I, I don't find myself using it too often, but every once in a while I've kind of grabbed it and checked it out. So scroll over the area you want to disappear, and there it goes. So the eraser tool. And last but not least, we've got a knife tool. And 
the knife tool, of course, is for, uh, I guess, just what you would think. Cutting things up, knifing them in any size, shape, or direction you need to go here. The knife tool kind of gives you just a little bit better precision on your choices there. So, And at the end, we've got a uh, follow playback button. You can turn that on or off and have choose to have the project uh, follow the playhead as it moves down through the arrangement. And that are your tools. Let's move on to the next video.